that last clip you saw there was um, the big ladies, the curvy ladies. They were basically doing a fashion show for JP Couture and showing that beauty does come in all sizes. Now, those are bits and pieces of behind the scenes of what went down at the Eloy Awards. Of course, we'll be bringing you fuller versions here on Wazodia TV. Joining us to share the Eloy experience today, it's the founder, uh, the editor-in-chief of Exquisite Magazine, the founder of Eloy Awards, and also the founder of the Emax Cervical Cancer Awareness Walk, Tewa Onosonya. Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> Thank you for Welcome having me. Time. Have you Thank relaxed? You. Have you recuperated oh. from this 10th year anniversary celebration that must have taken its toll on you? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm still buzzing. <laughs> I'm still buzzing from before and then during and then after. Funny enough, today on my way out, I was thinking to myself, have we done Eloy? Like, really? Have we? I mean, like, oh my gosh. Yeah. So I'm still in that high. <laughs> okay, so how did the whole um, journey start for you? as an editor-in-chief mm -hmm. of the magazine, and then you starting Eloy as an event. As an event. Yes. Um, the journey started, first of all, when, it, when we started the magazine, I didn't think we were going to do the Eloy Awards. I just thought, okay, do the magazine, that's it. But um, moving to Nigeria, realizing that, you know, most of the award ceremony then were men biased. I'm sorry I have to say that, but a lot of award ceremony were for men. And you would found, find maybe one or, you know, a handful of women in different, you know, in different award sectors, if there were any for women. And we just thought that Exquisite Magazine is a, woman, is a woman's magazine. Who else to celebrate women than us? And I love celebrating women anyway. I love, I don't know if it's due to the fact that I have so many sisters with seven girls. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if that's, if, it's, if that's why. But the magazine has always been to celebrate, inspire people. And we just thought, let's start the Eloy Awards. Funny enough, one of my sisters was reminding me that in 2009, I remember that meeting that we all sat down and you said, we're going to do a female award. And before we knew it, everything was, you know, being put into place and we were going for it. And one of my sisters said to me that, yes, I attended the first Eloy. I was 14 years old. Wow. And she's doing it. I'm like, oh, my God. And my daughter's 14. And I'm thinking, so you were my daughter's age and you came to the Eloy. I was just like, oh, my God. So it, it's been a journey, actually, a journey and a half. We... We wanted to do the Eloys. We knew it would go far by the grace of God, but you know, seeing it going far is like, wow, thank God. <laughs> 10 years in the game. And we'll come back yes. to ask you what your journey, you know, <laughs> the past 10 years has been, the lessons you've learned. But mm. let's look at the event itself, itself, preparing for the event. What went into preparing for the Eloy Awards? <gasps> it takes an arm and a leg, it takes an army. I've got the most unbelievable team ever. The exquisite people at the AMHQ, our publicist, YG agency, they're the best in the market. We've got people that, you know, that I think we're, I think we're doing well because we all have that passion and we all believe in it. I think that's why we, we, we gel so easily and everybody knows what they're supposed to do and we're, you know, we're just going for it. it. It really does take a village. And the funniest thing is once an Eloy is over, we're working on the next Eloy. So right now, I'm just like, can you just give me a minute? They're like, okay, we have to do the publicity, the post-event publicity for the Eloy, but we have to start getting the proposals out there. Funny enough, a lot of, when we went towards the Eloy period, towards the Eloy itself, we're saying that, oh, we need sponsors, we need sponsors. People are like, yeah, you should have started a year ago. I'm like, yes, we do start a year ago it just so happens that people take their time you know probably giving replies and then towards the Eloy itself we're now looking for sponsors but hopefully that's that's ended hopefully so <laughs> hopefully oh because Eloy is a great platform for any brand to be you know to be showcased on and you know people should be jumping on the bandwagon even though I say so so what's your inspiration for the categories that you create for the awards, okay. Right. Okay. I don't create the categories. Okay. We look at the we look at what's happening in the society. So okay. what we do every year is that we take some so some categories that we had this year, we probably won't have them next year. So we want to be able to cover all sorts of different sectors. Like this year, for instance, we've never ever had a scriptwriter of the year, and we had that this year. We've only had an agriculture award once ever. I think that was probably in 2012 or 2013. And this year we have so many firsts. We we've never had an innovation and invention category. We've never had a technology category. We've never had scriptwriter like I mentioned I think earlier. All four this year as well. We've never had an author. 
as well. We've, so we have a lot of, I think about 10 or so of the 20 awards we gave out, we've never had. So every year we try to see what's, you know, what's in the sector, what women are now doing. The year we had DJ of the year, that's the year we saw a lot of women coming out to say they're DJs. And we're like, okay, we need to showcase this, you know, this sector so that other people that probably, they are probably thinking of being a DJ and didn't know that women do do it, will be encouraged, which is what the Eloy Awards is about. We're always uncovering sectors. And luckily, the public help us as well. So like this year already, we've gotten, you know, different emails that, oh, what about this sector? What about that sector? So watch out. <laughs> Interesting. Let's look at how these people are selected. The nominees and the winners as and well. The winners. Is it enough to say, oh, I know Tewa Nosa, uh, yeah. or hmm. I know one of them, I know Tewa's publicist. You know, how do you get to make the nominees to select and the, the winners and the winners? It's not enough to know me. In fact, when I see that my friends or people that I know haven't won, I'm just like, oh, oh. And I can't tell them. So I'm just like, oh, I wish they'd won. I just say, you know, you have to campaign. You have to just get people voting. So what happens with the Eloy Awards is that we're not playing God with anybody. We put the categories out there and we get the public to nominate people for that category. And we always have, we always say this, and it's always at the back of our minds that all women are worth celebrating. We don't want to be nominating the same women year in year out because there are other women doing exceptionally well in different, you know, in their fields that we don't know about. They might be, you know, in Surulere, in Ajegule, in Adamawa, in Zamfara, wherever they are. So what we do is we put that category out there and social media has made things a little bit more easier because now we're global when, you know, National. So it doesn't have to be, we don't have to put an ad that would go, you know, in different newspapers in different states. Once we put it on social media and tag different states, we're able to get, you know, information from a different state. So what we do is we just send the <coughs> categories out there. Once we've decided with the planning committee the, the categories we want to award the, in that year. And um, what happens is within that Eloy year, we also put the criteria out. So what happens when I, what I mean by an Eloy year is, so for this year, Eloy year was um, August 2017 to August 2018. So whatever any woman has been doing with, within that one year is the, you know, is the, um, what's the word for the Eloy's 2018? Yeah, like the basis for, for judgment. Exactly. Yeah. So, you know, every year we're like, we're watching you. We're like, big brother, we're watching you. We're looking what you know, we're looking at what everybody's doing with the help of the public as well. So once we get all the nomination, all the nominations in and we do get thousands of them and we're, you know, having sleepless nights trying to go through and then choose the final top five or six. So this year, the nominees went, the categories went out, the nominees came in, and then we chose the top five or top six. I think in some categories they had seven, and then we pushed that out, and it's the public that votes. Okay. Oh. The public votes, and we tell people that if you don't tell people to vote for you, they won't know that you're nominated for any award, they won't vote for you. So another thing that we do do is because we have a criteria that people must meet, even if when people, even when the public choose their winners, we still vet them against the criteria that we have. Criteria being direct leadership, indirect leadership, integrity, commitment to what they're doing, you know, their attitude towards their work. Fair enough, we won't get it 100%, we're human. But then again, we try as much as possible to put the best foot forward. All right, this last Eloy, there was a bit of a drama <laughs> the morning after the Eloy. Um, so there was a category, I think yeah. it's a social, social media, media personality, personality of the year, of the year mm -hmm. where we had the nominees to be... Niger Branchy, Hustler Square, CC, and Uriel, it's, exactly, Bissola. Uriel and Bissola. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Now, in that category, CC ended yeah. up winning. Winning. And then mm -hmm. Hustler Square went on Instagram <laughs> and called the Eloy Awards team out. What exactly happened? Now, her grouse was the fact that she says, you know, that everybody in the category had been informed that they had made top two. No, it wasn't everybody in the category. Okay. So what usually happens with the Eloy Awards is every year, if you, I mean, you've been nominated before yes, and I you've was. won as well, yeah. Every year when we have a top two, we call them to let them know that, okay, you're the top two in this category. Sometimes we even do top three. You're the top two or top three in this category. Can you be on time? Reason we say be on time is because of Nigerian time. And you know Sundays, you know, the work is the next day. So we tell everybody that you're the top two. We don't reveal the winners until the day itself. So we can't say that, oh, you're the winner, unless you're like, you know, maybe it's the day itself, maybe at night or something, they will say to you that you're the winner. So we make this call out to people. So I think in her category, three people were called instead of two. And the mistake, human error, please, we're all human. And the mistake they made was telling her that she was top two instead of top three. So she now said that she was called that she's top three and um, top two. Another person was called that she's top two. Another person was called that she's top two. So how is it that CC won? And I'm just like, okay, 
it's fair enough that people take the matter to social media. I mean, we're in that era. But um, I would have expected that you would contact the organization and say, okay, this and this happened. Can you explain it? Instead of going on social media to say it's a scam. We've been building this brand for the past 10 years. I can put my hand on my chest and say that integrity is one of the foremost things that we pride ourselves on. Even when my friends are on the, on the list and I'm wishing them to win, if people don't vote for them, we can't rig it. Even when you're thinking, ah, that person, oh my God, does that person, well, you can't, it's the people that, you know. So we, we did what we've never done before yesterday. We released the results of that single category. Because we had to show that, hello, it's, but, I mean, integrity really, really matters. I want to be able to walk past you and know that for sure you won or for sure you didn't win. So we had to release that category. So she saw, and the person that won, won by a mile, actually, <laughs> as, the, as the results would show. So um, we haven't heard anything else. Yeah, from, I, I know that this is, that, was a bit, press release that it was, was a out. bit, you know, dicey <laughs> seeing how things eventually played out. Yeah. But I know also maybe some of some people have advocated that her annoyance or her pain may have stemmed from the fact that she campaigned a actively, lot. you know, and some other people in the category as well, like Niger Branch campaigned, yeah, campaigned actively campaigned as well. As well. Yeah, but CC didn't actually. seem to really campaign as much. So they are wondering, how come he campaigned as much, CC didn't campaign as much, and she ended up winning? You know one thing about the Eloy Awards, and, um, no, let me say one thing about me. Me, number one. Yes, I'm in the publishing business, you know, the media and everything. I don't know a lot of things that happen. I'm not, you know, maybe because of work, I'm not too privy to that. So, CC was in the category. I didn't even know who CC was. I'm sorry, big brother. <laughs> but I didn't even know who she, you know, who she is. And then Hustler Square and Brand Niger, but all the other, all the people in the, on the category, I didn't even know who they were. But once we once we have the top five people, I go through to see, oh, okay, oh, wow, okay, she's doing well, she's doing well. And then it goes out. So when you think, when people are campaigning, yes, you know, we encourage people to campaign because you have to, you know, you have to put the word out there for people to vote for you. But then again, you have to realize that not everybody that says I'm going to vote for you will vote for you, if you understand what I mean. I mean, I've been in that situation before. In fact, even now that I, you know, I've authored a book and I'm asking people to buy the book and they're like, yeah, I see it. But have you bought it though? So it's not everybody that says that they're going to do something, are going to do it. And numbers don't lie. The internet cannot lie. You can see the figures. You can see, you know, the, um, what's the word, the stats and everything else and everything else in it. So even if you campaign, you just have to keep campaigning and campaigning and campaigning. I mean, that's, and that's the only that way. Eventually and just hope that eventually your followers are dogged mm. and diehard exactly. lovers that would be and you know, win. And be but and one thing we must all know is that for you to get recognized in an award category is fantastic. It's fantastic. It shows that you're working exactly. hard, mm. you're doing well, and that you're being recognized. Mm -hmm. So please, we're preaching peace. So we are you know preaching that peace. Hustler Square, Nigeria <laughs> Brand Cheek, Bisola, Ayola, Uriel, you're, real. And CC, you're all winners. You're all winners. You're all doing amazing in the social media space. And we wish you all the best. And for those who were not nominated, it's also a platform for people to, you know, look toward the next year. Exactly. It's something you can actually look forward to, to say, mm -hmm. I would like to be nominated for an for Eloy, an Eloy or yeah. I would like to win an Eloy. Exactly. It would and encourage thing, you to work harder. Yes, and the thing with us is we're not biased. So it's not an award ceremony that's just for celebrities or professionals or socialites. It's for everybody. We believe all women are worth celebrating. Yeah, we so have one of you, your winners here yesterday. Oh, we right? do? Yes, we yesterday. did. Yeah. The yes. woman that inspired. I never, yeah, yeah. She, she won the woman who inspires Catherine. I never met her until the Eloy nominee night. Are you serious? I am serious. A lot of people I don't meet until maybe the awards night or the nominee or the nominee party. So what happened was we got a few emails about, you know, this woman is the only woman in the field. Da, 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 da. And then everybody got to work. We started doing research. I was like, this woman is actually inspiring. Because who would think that a woman would be in the vehicle tracking business? You know, so that is what that is the essence of the Eloy Awards to be able to, you know, encourage other people that, you know, there are women doing this that you can emulate if you want to go for any any field whatsoever. You know, your dreams are valid. Indeed. Be audacious. <laughs> yes. The theme for this 10th year uh, magician was audaciously ambitious. And yes. I was asked what, you know, that meant that to meant me to and you. what the Eloy meant to me. For me, I would yeah. always say it's a, some sort of encouragement to say that we see you. We acknowledge yes. what you're doing. Well done. Keep working hard. The sky is indeed the starting point. This mm -hmm. is the exact same way I said it. I feel are like I'm right there. <laughs> but thank you so much for joining us on thank the show. You thank you. How can people me. follow you and keep up to date with what's going on? Okay. Personal. Personally, you can follow my page. Um, it's at Tewa Onosoya. 
And the Eloy page can be followed as well at Eloy Awards and the magazine page as well. Am I allowed to say the magazine yes. page as well? Okay, the magazine page is at Exquisite Magazine Nigeria. And your book, does your book have a social media handle? No, it doesn't. But they can follow you <laughs> They on can your follow page me on my page for more information on my book. All right, yes. she wrote a book, Rule Your World, You Need to Rule Your Mind. Rule Your Mind. Yes. But that will be a conversation for, for another, another day. day. To enjoy more of this, our will get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.